exposure, get them black dollars circulating in the black community. Yeah, that's why I do that section. Now next up, I'm plugging the chew on this contest. This is a contest organically, the narrative podcast contest, where I give the listener a bulk supply of their favorite snack for participating in the contest. In this contest, I am asking to share a shopping while black experience. Why shopping while black experience? Well, I'm a black platform. This is something that has plagued uh, black people in America and abroad um, throughout time. It's something still going on today. So this is my way of uh, keeping the conversation going. And also, you know, tapping in with my list, with my audience and, um, you know, let me know that you're listening and, um, just basically crowd participation since I don't have a hotline yet and to enter the contest just for entering the contest you're going to get a bulk supply of your favorite snack um, all I'm asking is to not make it too terribly long to enter the contest put uh, at that same email that, for the uh, promotion so I got to backtrack a little bit all right, so when you uh, send me the email for the promotion, put a promo in the subject bar. This is how I'm separating, because it's going to the same email, but this is how I'm separating. So if you want the free promotion, put promo in the uh, subject bar. Send me the email to passionwebmail at poeticpassion.host, and then put promo in the subject bar. And then tell me a little bit about your business self, your business, your product, and your service. And then, um, now for the chew on this contest, same email address, passionwebmail at poeticpassion.host, except in the subject bar, put chew on this slash shopping wild black. And in the body of the email, your shopping wild black experience. And then um, your address, your mailing address, so I know where to send the snack. And then your snack. So, like, what do you want? Like a candy bar, uh, chips, whatever. And I'll send it to you. Crackers, cookies, cakes, whatever you're into. No judgment. Now, ideally... I try to, you know, purchase your snack from a black-owned vendor. So it's like ideally we're all supporting each other. You're supporting me. I'm supporting a black-owned business. And we're keeping that, you know, that cycle going, that support cycle going. That's ideally how it will work out. But in the event I cannot find a black-owned vendor, has a bulk supply of your favorite snack. It'll probably be coming from Costco or Sam's Club. So, all right. Now is the fun part of the section. This is um. Promoting black owned businesses. So these are um, businesses that I've researched. Uh, these businesses have certain criteria that I promote. So, criteria one, it has to be um, whatever theme that I have going on currently. So, the current theme is springtime because it is, you know, by the American calendar, by the uh, world calendar. I know not. This isn't historically spring. I know the origins. I know the back. So, but like, just for all other purposes, it's springtime. So, um, the types of businesses I've been promoting are just you know 
black owned businesses like you know the first thing that comes to mind when I think spring second this is like the one thing that don't change is uh, you have to be black owned they have to um, like check the boxes check a couple of the boxes black owned uh, hires black has black employees, um, does some type of philanthropy or give back to the uh, community, service the community. So last um, episode, full episode that I had, all the businesses that I did um, checked all the boxes. Um, not so much this time because, you know, you'll find out why when I... Uh, plug the types of businesses I'll be promoting today because it just wasn't a lot of information I couldn't pull up anything online so other than the address and what what type of services they were offering so <clears throat> as I said this month's theme is spring and then um next month to be summer so for all the rest of this month it'll be spring and you know in summertime people are getting ready or in springtime people are like getting ready for the summer they're going to the gym they're working out they're becoming more uh, fit and active and taking care of yourself and taking care of themselves so where is the one place that helps you, you know, kind of, besides the gym, take care of yourself? And I thought, well, spas, because people are doing, like, self-care right now. They want to look good, because if you look good, then you feel good. And these days, spas are offering, you know, health and wellness, the all-body, massages and, um, you know, aromatherapy and, um, you know, yoga and all that. So these next um, black-owned businesses I will be promoting today are black-owned spas. So... <clears throat> First black owned business is called Touch of London Spa. It, it, and the website is touchoflondon.com. The founder was Violet Johnson, PhD. I'm not really going to go into, um, go extensively into her background because she has a very well written about section. So you just go online and you can, um, read the backstory on how she started it what was the um you know inspiration to start a spa her credentials i will tell you at least she um she studied abroad and she studied uh holistic healing so that's what she incorporates into her spa is holistic healing So now next one, I got a little bit more information. This is called the Diva Day Spa and Healing. And it is at 15 212 Hanover Pike, Upper Maryland. Zip 2115. Area code 410-429-4729. And so you got to excuse me on the last name because the um, founder is Canadian. So, you know, if I mispronounce it, sorry, I don't know too many Guyanese people from Ghana. Cindy Tawa is the founder. She's a former RN and creator of Diva by Cindy Hair Care brand. 
She's also um, created a vending machines that store her uh, hair care products in um, airports all across America. Um, in addition to that, uh, she is hosting, she does some philanthropy, nonprofit organization called the Diva Project, in where she uh, allocates 10% of her uh, proceeds from her business go to uh, domestic uh, women who have um, suffered um, domestic violence. So, you know, that checks a couple of boxes. And lastly, Euphoric Spallon. So that's, <laughs> it's a little play on words, it's spa and salon. Um, it's a family owned spa in downtown Pittsburgh. It doesn't say the exact address, it says downtown Pittsburgh. Um, it's family owned and operated by Monica Smith and her husband, Brian, and her children, Terrell and Deja. And they offer, um, you know, the full package, massage, massages, um, all that, facials, pedicures, manicures, the works. So yeah, that was an ultra light bike today as far as um, the black owned businesses, like I said, um, when I promote those, it's like people that um, not only are black owned, but uh, do something to empower the community. So by empower the community, I mean like hiring people from the community, black people, um, and then also servicing the community, do some type of give back to the community such as like free dinners or coat drives or, you know, back to school, stuff like that. But that just wasn't the case this time because, you know, that was the theme I picked was um, black owned wellness spas. And on to my next section. My next section is the spotlight. In this section I spotlight a prominent uh, figure in the black community. Um, it's usually in the entertainment industry. Actor, actress, athlete, um, producer, public figure, recording artist. Just um, somebody really Super active, speaking on our uh, behalf, making black people look good in a capacity, like giving back to the community, doing some type of philanthropy, um, not being shy about speaking about our plight on the platforms, and you know, just you know, they have a strong moral character. I feel for what I see. And today's spotlight is comedian actress Monique, born December 11, 1964, attended Milford Mill High School. She graduated from the Broadcast Institute of Maryland, or yeah. And she attended Morgan State University. She got a start in comedy when a friend dared her to go on stage during open mic night. He doesn't say the name of the club or nothing like that, but, you know, after that, as they say, it's a wrap. So she you knows she's been um, highly successful. Uh, 
definitely a part of the